The mountains are home to many mysteries, beautiful landscapes, Instagram-worthy photographs, and a hiker's dream. Though these stunning views often come at a cost, the mountains are known to be dangerous places, with disappearances, accidents, and other unsolved cases arising all too frequently. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at these three unsolved missing persons cases. Ali Nadiri Whilst 2020 was a nightmare of a year for many, Ali Nadiri and his family and friends have undoubtedly had it worse than the majority of us. August was the start of an awful period for this particular family. As of August 23rd, 2020, Ali Nadiri went missing from his hike. The 52-year-old is reportedly an avid hiker, frequently embarking upon the Eagle Mountain paths and trails, so it is unlikely he simply lost his way whilst adventuring. Visiting as often as daily, Nadiri surely felt safe enough to journey this hike alone, as he was confident that he knew his paths, a mistake we are sure he regrets. There was a large clue presented to the research teams. He was caught on film at the hiking trail. In Eagle Mountain, Canada, a camera placed on the trail captured Nadiri on what was possibly his final hike. Whilst on the surface this seemed incredibly reassuring, it failed to give any new details as to where the team could find Nadiri. An army of volunteers, approximately 40 to 60 in number, were a part of this search team, hoping to find Ali Nadiri alive and well. This group of good-hearted people were led by the Coquitlam Search and Rescue, with individual teams from North Vancouver and Lions Bay aiding in the rescue of Nadiri too. After some initial searching, the police concluded there did not seem to have been any deliberate, malicious interference or other foul play, with no leads of evidence to suggest this. The case had been referred to as likely being a hiker who was simply unprepared for the conditions and had somehow gotten lost. Many interested in the case have deemed this unlikely due to Nadiri often visiting Eagle Mountain, so why would he have decided to deviate from a trail he knows inside out? Michael McLaughlin concluded the search, stating, Given the time frame that Nadiri has been gone, his lack of supplies, and the vast backcountry where he went missing, it doesn't make sense to continue searching and potentially put our SAR teams at risk. He had prefixed this, though, highlighting that the volunteers within the search and rescue team had searched all the possible trails, as well as many off-trail and more risky routes Nadiri may have taken. It was after seven days of searching that the search came to a halt. Having accumulated more than 2,400 combined hours of searching, a search team with the manpower of 183 pairs of eyes on hand and 48,000 square meters of land having been looked over, it was seemingly increasingly unlikely that the hunt for Nadiri would become a success story. Although it is a devastating decision for the authorities to have to make, it seems to be one with the intention of protecting all of the volunteers helping on this recovery mission. As the further the search expanded, the more dangerous the land became, and the certainty and chances of finding Nadiri continued to fall. Despite having GPS, drones, helicopters and search dogs on the look for Ali Nadiri, there has been little success to this story, with him remaining missing with no new news as of March 2021. Porith Stefan Sue Disappearance In the March of 2019, the life of Dad Sofan Su was torn apart as his eldest son, Porith Sofan Su, went missing. Sofan stated in April, a month after the disappearance of his son, that he likes to pretend that his son is simply out living his life with his friends, denying the much more devastating, much more likely truth. Sofan, aged 46, ended his explanation with a simple heart-wrenching, until otherwise, until something else comes up. Porith, who dons the name Stefan amongst his family, went missing after he had been hiking close to the Mount Washington Auto Road, according to statements made from the New Hampshire Fish and Game Department. A week after he was reported missing, which was on the 8th of March 2019, the 21-year-old's car was tracked down to the Pinkham Notch Visitor Center. The team searching for Stefan included the Fish and Game Conservation Officers, US Forest Service Snow Rangers, Mountain Rescue Services, and Androscoggin Valley Search and Rescue. 
This broad team each had a different role, be it searching for the missing young man himself or aiding the other branches of this team in getting searchers where they needed to be, namely above the tree line. Unfortunately, this search hit a major bump in the road with tragic consequences early on. Due to deep snow and a lack of clues to follow up with, the search was suspended, leaving his family desperate and wishing for a new lead to guide them closer to finding Stefan. Adding to the distress of the family is his lack of familiarity with hiking, the routes and the potential dangers of the sport. He had only recently taken on hiking as a new interest, leaving him susceptible to many of the downfalls of novice hikers. His auntie, Sofan's sister, Linda, said that it's day by day, we're just hoping that something comes up, but it's just hard with no answers. This brave family highlights what could be one of the hardest aspects of having a missing relative or friend, simply not knowing and always wondering. With authorities having suspended official searches, this united family did not give up. A new search team emerged, led by Linda, Stefan's auntie, as the family searched through New Hampshire, looking into surrounding towns, speaking to owners of shops he may have frequented, such as corner shops and shops specializing in hiking equipment, but to no avail. Even more upsetting, the last conversation that Sofan had with his son had been an argument on March 8th over nothing more than cleaning his room, which had ended with the 21-year-old storming off. Perhaps an attempt to comfort themselves, many family members have used the phrase, he's an adult, and suggested that perhaps a young man with a close family simply wanted a fresh start, to live his own life away from consequences. As is the case with many tragedies, the parade of internet comments and researchers soon took to the case, for better or for worse. One Reddit user began a post which compiled a series of theories as to what could have happened to Stefan, including him getting lost, though there were a number of searchers along the mountain. Some users mentioned that heading north can lead towards notoriously tough sections of the White Mountains, information a newbie may not necessarily have. Another suggestion has been that Stefan took his own life, with no desire to be found. And the final most common suggestion, as posed by unqualified internet users, has been that he genuinely just wanted to disappear and gain a fresh start and new beginning. Regardless as to the reasons for his disappearance, Stefan's family is devastated. And with this case still not having been resolved, the likelihood of a happy ending is decreasing with each passing day. Christopher Lee Cessna Missing In 2011, Christopher Lee Cessna was announced missing. The disappearance of Cessna was reported to the Cary Police Department on April 27, 2011. Cessna, aged 45 at the time of the disappearance, would now be 55 as of 2021. The delayed involvement of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, compared to the other harrowing cases discussed, is because Christopher Lee Cessna was not a hiker and his family had no reason to believe he was heading to the mountains. So why did the mountainous national park become such a central element to the case? A car was parked at the newfound Gap parking area for a number of weeks, and initially this caused no concern, with it often having cars left for long periods of time due to the popular Appalachian Trail that runs through it. However, one particular car was not expected to be there, and many doubt that its owner was hiking. Cessna's 2009 Audi was found at the National Park's car park. Once this connection had been made, park rangers began to search for the missing man, checking the Appalachian Trail, the car park, and any other routes that may connect. Indications that he may have ventured off trail were being actively looked out for, as well as shelter logs for the possibility that his name may have appeared. Tragically, not long before his disappearance, Cessna had been described as seemingly low on hope and fulfillment, and the handgun he is known to have owned was nowhere to be found within his home. Many suspect that he ended his life, it is the nightmare of many parents, family members and friends to have a loved one go missing and be gripped with uncertainty and the harshness of the mountains can only heighten those fears. Our thoughts are with those who are missing a loved one. But what do you make of these tragic unsolved mysteries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.